on CNN Philippines, the Supreme Court grants the co-warrantal petition against Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno. We go to our Anjo Alemario. Anjo. That's right, Pinky. Our sources from the Supreme Court tell us the Supreme Court voting 8-6 grants the co-waranto case filed by Solicitor General Jose Calida ousting Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno. Our two sources from the Supreme Court tell us the voting was 8-6. Those who dissented are Associate Justices uh, Antonio Carpio. Estela Perlas Bernabe, Presbytero Velasco, Mariano del Castillo, uh, uh, Marvic Leonen, and Alfred Benjamin Kagiwa. Now, those who voted to grant the petition of Solicitor General ousting Chief Justice Sereno are Associate Justices Teresita uh, de Castro, uh, Justado Peralta, Francis Hardilesa, Lucas Bersamin, Noel Tiham, Samuel Barteres, Andres Reyes, and Alexander Gismundo. Again, that's the information that we have. Pinky voting 8-6. The Supreme Court grants the co-waranto case filed by Solicitor General Jose Calida, ousting Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno. It's the argument of uh, Solicitor uh, General Calida that uh, Sereno failed to show that she's a person of proven integrity uh, by failing to submit all her statements of assets, liabilities, and net worth to the Judicial and Bar Council when she applied for the Chief Justice post. But Sereno argued that she religiously filed her silence. It's just that she can't find all of them. So, Pinky, we understand that there will be a 10, uh, 11 30, I understand, 11 30 briefing by the Supreme Court, the Public Information Office, to make the announcement. Again, we're still waiting for the official announcement from the Supreme Court Public Information information office but our two sources from the supreme court confirmed to us that the supreme court granted the co-waranto case against chief justice maria lourdes sereno pinky that means uh, that's the end uh, for uh, chief justice maria lourdes sereno as chief justice of course of the supreme court Angel, she's been fighting this she went back to work two days ago she said she would be uh, present in today's end bank session and finally your sources cnn philippine sources saying Two of them um, confirming that it's a vote of eight to six to grant the co warranto petition filed by Solicitor General Jose um, uh, Calida. Angel, what is the mood out there right now? You know what, Pinky, when, when the news broke out that the court granted the Kowaranto case against Chief Justice Sereno, we heard a loud cheer erupting from the anti-Sereno camp. And of course, uh, to my left are the uh, uh, pro-Sereno supporters. And, and I'm hearing Juana change right now, very vocal about the decision of the Supreme Court, again, ousting Chief Justice Sereno from her post, Pinky. You know, Anja, there's been a lot of loose talk about this, about even the votes. I know you're a witness to that. 10-4, could have been 9-5, and now we're hearing an 8-6. Um, people, of course, also um, talking about this on social media. So, um, you know, what they really needed, Anja, was an 8 to get her out of uh, the position, to boot her out as Chief Justice. All they needed was a vote of eight, which, according to our sources, um, they got this vote of, of um, eight. Anjo, uh, we thank you for that, but uh, we are trying also to get both sides to get a reaction on this. And right now, Anjo, we'll get back to you in, in a bit. We have the uh, one of the spokespersons of uh, Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno, uh, Attorney Deinla, she's on the line. Attorney, good good morning to you. Attorney Deinla. Oh. All right, um, let's fix that connection with Attorney Deinla first. She is, of course, one of the spokespersons of Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Serrano. Let's begin. Let's continue again with this breaking news for those who just tuned in. Uh, sources of CNN Philippines are already confirming that uh, in a vote of 8 to 6, the Supreme Court grants the co warranto petition filed by Solicitor General Jose Calida against Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Serrano. It's again a vote of eight to six, the, eight, the six rather, who dissented are Justices Carpio, Bernabe, Velasco, Castillo, Leonen, and um, Kagiwa. The uh, mood out there, of course, our correspondents are there, AC Nichols, Rex Remigio, 
Anjo Alimario will give us the latest happening outside the Supreme Court. There are, of course, supporters of the Chief Justice over there and those who want her out also present around the perimeter of the Supreme Court waiting for this landmark decision coming from the Supreme Court. You know, earlier we also spoke to two members of the Supreme Court. They had opposing views on how the justices should look into the uh, co-warranto petition. All right, let's get a reaction now on the side of Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno. Attorney uh, Deinla is on the line. Attorney? Hello, Pinky. Hello, Good Attorney. Okay, yes. good that you can hear us. Attorney, what are you hearing from the ground? What is the reaction of the camp of Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno on this 8-6 vote? Yes, uh, the supporters, thousands of them who have gathered here at the Supreme Court to show their support and to call for uh, the, uh, the uh, they call our magistrates to vote in accordance with the Constitution. We're outraged by um, this decision. But as you can see, this is a very close vote. The uh, granting of the uh, Coaranto petition won only by two votes. So we can see from this that uh, if the Chief Justice elects to, uh, to avail of her last recourse, that is by filing a motion for consideration, there is hope. So it is decided, again, attorney, because it is, uh, as you call it, a close call, that your camp will be filing a motion for reconsideration? Yes, uh, uh, the... Uh, the... The attention of the line is a bit choppy at times. Are you there? Yes, okay, balikan po natin yan, attorney. You said that you will file, the camp of the CJ will file a motion for reconsideration? Yes, uh, she is very likely to file this uh, motion for reconsideration. We'll uh, know later if uh, this will be her next step for sure. So uh, let's uh, watch out for her announcement. Okay. But uh, like I said, uh, uh, she is seriously considering this recourse because we know that the Supreme Court has in... Uh, couple of, um, in, a, in a number actually, of high-profile political cases has flip-flopped or changed its mind, uh -huh. uh, in its decision. But attorney, even if, uh, if uh, at 11.30 we're expecting a press briefing, but even if she files a motion for reconsideration, just to clarify this, if it is, with a vote of 8 to 6, she is ousted as Chief Justice, even if she files an MR. Is that your position? Uh, no, because uh, the case or the decision has not yet reached finality until the Supreme Court decides on the motion for a consideration. So you're saying that she will remain Chief Justice even with a vote of eight to six because of her uh, because of a possibility of filing an MR? Yes, that's her position. Uh, but we heard that uh, the uh, decision uh, is saying that she should vacate her position immediately. Uh, we heard that it is an immediate executory uh, ruling, but uh, we are yet to verify if this is so. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, I, I'm sorry, I didn't catch a part of what you said. Let me ask this. If in the decision, hypothetically, it says final, if it says final and executory, she ceases to become Chief Justice, is that correct or not? Attorney? Attorney De Inla? Yes. All right. Uh, I was asking, I'm not sure if you heard me, Attorney, that if in the, in, in the decision, hypothetically, hypothetically, it says final and executory, does that mean she's out as Chief Justice? Does she cease to become Chief Justice? Uh, uh, what we know, uh, based on experience and practice, is that uh, the ruling will only attain finality after the motion for reconsideration has already been decided um, upon by the, uh, the High Court. So uh, we shall await uh, the, that decision, the decision on the MR, before we can uh, finally say that the Chief Justice uh, has been ousted hmm. or has already uh, ousted from her position. Pero pag nakasulat po yung final, just for the sake of argument, ma'am, final mm -hmm. and executory, what is the position of the Chief Justice there? 
alam mo kung babasahin natin yan, uh, ano lang to eh, it's only in consonance with uh, the uh, mga narinig natin reports that her colleagues uh, really want her out and uh, pass weekly. So, uh, nilagay siguro yan para agad-agad siyang maalis sa pwesto. That's how we are reading it. But of course, uh, we, we shall await the, uh, the copy, the full text of the decision before we comment any further. Mm -hmm. When is uh, the Chief Justice planning to speak to the media? Is, is there anything in the offing very soon? Uh, yes. Um, I think in a couple of hours, uh, we are preparing a press conference with the Chief Justice. So uh, please stay tuned. Uh, we, we will immediately announce uh, the details of uh, this press conference. Was she ready for this kind of a decision, Attorney? The Chief Justice has, uh, is conscious of this uh, likelihood, of this reality. So even if she was hoping uh, to the last minute that her colleagues will uh, do the right thing, she knows that uh, uh, this um, unfavorable decision is likely to come. So mm -hmm. she has already sealed herself for this and has in fact prepared herself mentally and emotionally for uh, this decision. In the event that you file a motion for reconsideration, will you again bring in the appeal of uh, some of the justices to inhibit from the case? Yes. Uh, the Chief Justice will not abandon uh, this appeal for them to recuse themselves because as we can see it's only six of the justices who have already exhibited uh, their manifest bias and prejudice against the Chief Justice uh, inhibited themselves from the proceedings and the Chief Justice would have won. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, we will await. Uh, did, when did you speak to her last though, uh, Attorney? Uh, the other day, yesterday I wasn't able to because she was not feeling well and she was uh, preparing for uh, this for this big day. So I'll see her later and uh, yun na, mag, mag, uh, sasalita naman siya uh, to the public. Yung boto po na 8-6, nagulat ho ba kayo dito? Was this what you were expecting or was it more than what you were expecting? Actually, uh, less because uh, there were reports earlier that 9-5 or even 11-3 uh, days prior. So, uh, Ngayon, medyo ano eh, uh, kung nagulat man kami, siguro pleasantly surprised that the, it was a very close call and not as bad as we were, uh, we were expecting the vote to be. Who among the six was a surprise for your camp? Uh, we don't know yet. Uh, kasi hindi pa namin alam kung uh, who cast uh, those votes. Uh -oh. According to our Angel Mario from the two sources, ma'am, they are Carpio, Bernabe, Velasco, Castillo, Leonen, and Kagiwa. Mm -hmm. Sino ho yung surprise sa kanila? Hello? Attorney? All right, I uh, would like to thank uh, Attorney Dainla for speaking to us, giving us a reaction on the Sereno camp with regard to this breaking news we just brought to you. Um, sources of CNN Philippines are confirming a vote of eight to six, eight granting the co-waranto petition filed against Chief Justice uh, Maria Lourdes Sereno. Um, the camp of the Chief Justice is saying that it was, it is rather a close call and that uh, they will file a motion uh, for reconsideration considering the vote of eight to six. Still a question on the, of, uh, whether the Chief Justice will vacate her, her post rather immediately or not. I was asking Attorney Deinla what happens if in the event that um, it'll say uh, final and executory, but um, I guess uh, as fair uh, as she answered, she said that uh, they will really have to look into the decision of the Supreme Court. Um, all right, let's get the reaction from uh, Malacanang, Chief Presidential Legal Counsel. Sal Panelo is on the line. Sir, good morning to you, sir. Hear you. Something is wrong with your signal. You're coming in a week. Can you, can you increase the volume of your voice? Attorney Panello, can you hear me, sir? 
Not very. <laughs> okay, attorney, I can hear you though. Um, medyo malabo siguro the line coming from your end. But let's okay. try again now. Is this a little better? Yeah. Okay, now. Uh, okay. Sir, we'll get, we'd like to get um, the reaction of Malacanang on this breaking news, sir. 8-6 in favor of the co warranto petition. Well, I, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised simply because the constitutional provision on impeachment is very clear. If you notice, impeachable officers can, the, the, the provision uses the permissive phrase, may be removed, which means that impeachment is not just an exclusive method of removing impeachable officers. Because there will be a situation like this one mm -hmm. where an impeachable officer is holding office, but the ground for removing that impeachable officer is not one of those grounds enumerated under the Constitution, mm -hmm. like failure to file an SALN, mm -hmm. which is a constitutional requirement. Mm -hmm. So if that particular person is not qualified and hence illegally holding in office, then you cannot remove that person by way of impeachment. You have to file a co warrant to proceedings because that's the that's the proceeding by which the law says you should use. Two points um, raised because of this co warrant to attorney Panello is the prescriptive period under Rule 66 that says basically, sir, in layman's terms, the, the, from my understanding, there's one year from the time that you can file this co warranto um, upon appointment. But there are two, you know, two ways of looking at this. As uh, former Chief Justice Hilario Davide was saying, that it starts from the time of appointment of the Chief Justice, which was 2012. But you have um, Associate Justice Natura saying no, it actually starts from the time of discovery. Dun a prescriptive period, sir. Not, not only that, we've been saying, we've been saying ever since. In fact, I issued a statement on that, that you cannot use the principle of prescription against the government. When the government initiates the action, it does not apply. And that's very clear under the new civil code. And even assuming that you can apply the one-year principle or requirement, the prescriptive period should commence from the time you discovered yeah. that that person is illegally staying in office. Mm. Yeah, just in this particular case, nobody knew that she did not file the necessary SALN as required by the huh? rules. Mm -hmm. Does this and that, that discovery happened only during the Senate hearing. Mm -hmm. Does this expose, though, Attorney Panello, the rest of the members? Come again. Does this expose the rest of the members of the judiciary, those who may have also not completed um, the filing of their cell ends? Well, the members of the judiciary, well, JVC has crafted its own rules. It appears now that members of the J of JVC violated their own rules. Mm -hmm. So there must be some kind of sanction there. Yeah, but it doesn't answer my question, sir. Does this expose the rest of the justices who may have not, not completed filing their cell ends as well? Well, I guess the same rule I guess, will sir, apply to everybody. My, my question is, uh, pwede rin hubang mag-file ng co-waranto, for example, ang Solicitor General against the other justices of the Supreme Court who did not complete filing their cell ends? Is that, a, is, is that in order, sir? That depends. If if the rules on JVC requiring the submission of SALN has been there since the beginning, then that applies. Yeah, but, but if that... the rules were only placed there a few years earlier, then and it, it does not apply during the previous years, then mm -hmm. it would not. So I guess it'll depend, sir. We need to take what you're saying is a closer look at when the, the uh, JBC or the, the uh, Judicial and Bar, Bar Council began this ruling of filing the uh, SAL ends. That's what yes. you're saying, sir. Yes, because so uh, anyone... they're the ones who 
draft their own rules. Yeah, so anyone after that, or as soon as that, that rule was uh, implemented, any justice thereafter um, can be questioned regarding their sal ends, and hence can be filed a co warranto as well. Of course, of course, because uh, a rule must be applied to all regardless. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Attorney, what happens? Uh, it, it, it is a vote. Sources are telling us it's a vote of eight to six. Paano ho ba yon? Um, because it's a close call, according to well, the camp of uh, Sereno, Supreme Court Chief Justice uh, Maria Lourdes Sereno, sir, uh, they, there's a huge possibility, a big possibility, that they will file uh, an, a motion for reconsideration. My question is, sir, dapat ho bang umalis na kaagad? Uh, tanggal na ho ba siya sa pwesto? Or matatanggal lang ho ba siya sa pwesto after the MR, they decide on, on the motion for reconsideration? Well, it is supposed to be an executory ruling, so she will have to vacate the office. However, she is also entitled to file a motion for reconsideration. And given the fact that it's an 8 6 vote, mm -hmm. so she can still, uh, I think she has still a chance. She may be able to convince one of them to vote in her favor. Mm -hmm. But does she stay? Uh, My question is does she stay as Chief Justice? While the motion for reconsideration is filed, or is about to be filed? Thinking if it's executory, then she, hmm. she cannot stay in office. Kailangan ho ba, Attorney Panelo, nakasulat yung, you know, that phrase, final and executory? Uh, what I know is that hmm. every Supreme Court decision is executory. Mm -hmm. But you're given also the chance to file an MR. Yes, um, we but, uh, to that. my mind, it doesn't. It doesn't matter whether she's staying there. Uh, the the fact remains is she has been given a remedy to reverse the decision. Mm -hmm. But I think it's also important, sir, to find out that it, it, because of this decision, does she need to leave immediately? Or can she stay on as Chief Justice while her MR is about to be filed or is pending before the Supreme Court? Me, I do not think so. It doesn't matter really. For as long as you are given a remedy, then there is still hope for her. So you're okay for her, sir, to stay as Chief Justice until her motion for reconsideration is finalized? Come again? You're saying that it's okay with you, as Chief Presidential Legal Counsel, for the Chief Justice to stay as Chief Justice. Uh, what? I'm not saying that. You, you said I, it doesn't matter, said, sir. I don't think it matters okay. to anyone whether one is going to stay there as Chief Justice during the 15-day period mm -mm. given her or she does not stay. What, what can you do in the 15-day in the period as Chief Justice under seats? I don't think you can do anything anyway. Mm -hmm. So if it doesn't matter, you will not oppose or you will not be against? Uh, oh, that's, not, that's, not for my, that's not for me to oppose. Okay. All right. Chief Presidential Legal Counsel, uh, Sal Panello, sir, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, we spoke to uh, Chief Presidential Legal Counsel Sal Panello, also the camp of uh, Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno, on their thoughts on this 8-6 vote. We're showing you live pictures from outside uh, the Supreme Court. Also, we are awaiting a press briefing from uh, Attorney Theodore Te of the Supreme Court. That's, those are live pictures as well. Um, he will get ready to uh, give us the latest uh, any time. So let's wait for the official announcement from the Supreme Court. Again, uh, sources are telling CNN Philippines it's a vote of 8 to 6 ousting Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno, granting the co warranto petition filed against her by Solicitor General Jose Calida. The camp of the Chief Justice calls this a close call and that they will. Uh, it more, most likely file a motion for reconsideration on this. They said they were pleasantly surprised with this uh, kind of vote of 8 to 6. And also um, Attorney Sal Panelo giving us a side of Malacanang. All right, let's go to the Supreme Court. Let's listen to Attorney Theodore Te. Okay, let's start. The 
The Supreme Court and Bank, during its session today, rendered judgment in GR number 237428. Republic of the Philippines, represented by the Solicitor General versus Maria Lourdes P.A. Sereno. The dispositive portion of the decision reads, quote, Wherefore, the petition for co warranto is granted. Respondent Maria Lourdes P.A. Sereno is found disqualified from and is hereby adjudged guilty of unlawfully holding and exercising the office of the Chief Justice. Accordingly, Respondent Maria Lourdes P.A. Sereno is ousted and excluded therefrom. The position of the Chief Justice is declared vacant and the Judicial and Bar Council is directed to commence the application and nomination process. This decision is immediately executory without need of further action from the court. Respondent Maria Lourdes P.A. Sereno is ordered to show cause within 10 days from receipt hereof why she should not be sanctioned for violating the Code of Professional Responsibility and the Code of Judicial Conduct for transgressing the sub judice rule and for casting aspersions and ill motives to the members of the Supreme Court. So ordered. Close quote. The decision was written by Associate Justice Noel G. Siham. The members of the court voted on the following issues in the manner indicated. On the issue of whether or not to grant the petition for co warranto the vote is 8-6 in favor. Those who voted in favor are the following. Justices De Castro, Peralta, Bersamin, Cardeleza, Martires, Tiham, Reyes Jr., Hezmundo. Those who voted against, Senior Associate Justice Carpio, Justices Velasco, Del Castillo, Perlas Bernabe, Leonen, Cagiwa. On the issue of whether or not Covaranto is the proper remedy, the vote is 9 to 5 in favor. Those who voted in favor are Justices Velasco, De Castro, Peralta, Bersamin, Hardeleza, Martires, Tiham, Reyes Jr., Hesmundo. Those who voted against, Senior Associate Justice Carpio, Del Castillo, Perlas Bernabe, Leonen, Tagiwa. On the third issue of whether or not the respondent violated the Constitution for failure to file silence. Nine justices expressed an opinion. The others did not. The nine justices are the following. The Senior Associate Justice, Justices De Castro, Peralta, Bersamin, Hardeleza, Martires, Tiham, Reyes Jr., Hezmundo. End of statement. Decision will probably be released by this afternoon. The justices are revising their separate opinions and the main opinion. Once it is released, it will be uploaded to the website. Thank you. I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. Sir, you may not express an opinion. There's no finding of violation. Let's wait for the opinion. Okay? Option for motion for reconsideration. Does it state the decision or does it continue? As the decision, the dispositive indicates, it is immediately executory. Thank you. Well, he's the most senior. All right, Attorney uh, Theodore giving us uh, the latest there on what was decided upon during the special end bank session uh, today. The first, obviously, would be the granting of the co-warranto petition, 8 to 6, as we have reported, as our Andrew Alimario has reported a while ago, 8 granting the uh, petition for the co-warranto and 6 dissenting. The second was uh, a question if the co-warranto is the proper remedy, the vote there was 9 to five, and uh, the question on the filing of the sal and there were nine that expressed their opinion 
on this. Technically, uh, of course, just to summarize that, is that uh, the co warranto petition has been granted, as we were saying a while ago. Um, all they needed was eight um, for justices to grant this petition, and um, that has been granted. Also very important here is that uh, Attorney Theodore is saying that this is immediately executory, and now they have declared the Chief Justice seat as vacant, and they have asked the JBC to commence the application for the Chief Justice. Again, um, part of this um, decision was that it is immediately executory. Let's talk to uh, IBP President Abdiel Fajardo. He's on the line right now. Attorney Fajardo, good uh, morning to you, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Just a reaction, sir, on this uh, breaking news, 8-6, granting the co warranto petition. Well, it's a very close vote. Uh, one vote would have spelled the difference. Uh, one uh, dissenting, well, one additional dissenting vote could have uh, stayed uh, the co warranto mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, uh, it is 8-6. <laughs> there is no... Yes, yes. So yeah. the reality, yes. Yeah. So in situations like this, um, do you think there's even still a chance in the event of uh, an MR, sir? Well, there's always that chance, no? because uh, an MR is always addressed to the sound discretion of the members of the court. And if somebody changes his mind or is persuaded uh, by uh, the arguments of the uh, continued the MR, uh, it, it, it can change. But by experience, of course, we know that, uh, that the MRs do not uh, always, well, very slim uh, chances of success in right. the Supreme Court. But this is a landmark decision, Attorney. Uh, I, you know, in my head, it's really uh, something that was well studied, that they've had positions on this, they evaluated, dissected this, and uh, I, I, again, as much as it is a close call, I uh, wanted to get your opinion that, you know, I know anything's a possibility, but can one really still change his or her mind? Well, that's that's the that is why there is such a remedy in the mm. uh, in, in in the rules of court, uh, because there there is always that possibility. There's always the chance that uh, mm. the judge or the justice may change his mind uh, on the assumption that the counsel for the movement uh, has uh, really uh, good arguments or introduces perhaps new facts into okay. the into, into the records of the case. Tony, let me ask you this. Um you know, they will possibly file a motion for reconsideration, but given the scenario, um, what are your thoughts? Because it says it's immediately executory and that yeah. they uh, have called this that she is out, out uh, the, the, the Chief Justice seat is now vacant and asked the JBC to commence application. Um, plain and simple, sir, does this mean the Chief Justice should vacate her post? No. I have not read the dispositive portion, no? and uh, but if that is the tone that uh, the, the decision is immediately executory, then uh, it is a, the, the chief justice has no recourse but to file an MR. But uh, in the meantime, she cannot uh, assume her position as chief justice uh, still of the Supreme Court. Kailangan umalis na po siya, pending yes. any MR. Yes, uh, in the event that she files an MR within 15 days, uh, then the tone of the decision, if that is true, no, mm -mm. is for her to vacate her seat. Yeah, yes. because sometimes so we always have this uh, problem with MRs and this 15 days. Some say yes. that you know, until it's final and executory, we still have 15 days, so uh, they yes. stay in their position. So ito po, it's yes. very clear to you that if this is the tone, as read by yes. Attorney Theodore Te, she needs to leave now. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. um, aside from, well, a recourse would be uh, an MR, sir. Um, did this decision, I mean, what effect do you think would this decision have? Well, uh, I don't know how many uh, justices actually concurred in full, no, or agreed in full mm -hmm. to the ponentia uh, of, uh, I understand, Justice Tiham. But if uh, several justices made concurrences, without necessarily, uh, you know, agreeing to all the points of the, of the ponente, uh, it's possible that they, this may not hold some, you know, some really uh, long-lasting doctrinal value in the sense that it is a strong uh, precedent. No? 
So I, I'll have to, the, we will have to evaluate the, the tone of the individual uh, opinions of the justice. I understand, of course, um, makapal-kapal hu ito na kailangan no, natin talagang uh, pag-aralan. But uh, yeah. just, just going through what Attorney Theodore said, te, uh, had announced, uh, sir, is that number one, the grant of the petition of co-warrant was a vote of eight to six. And then there yes. was a second one, sir, on the was a co-warranto the proper remedy? The vote was 9 to 5. And then there was a third uh, expression here on the filing of the sal, and we're in nine um, justices expressed their opinion on this. I know that it needs to be studied further, sir, and uh, yes. dissected well. Um, but did this kind of voting, was it, you, you expected this? Um, nagulat ho ba kayo? Uh, were there any surprises? You no, know, not really. When uh, I was asked the same question last night, uh, I said that... Uh, Publicly, five justices have uh, aligned themselves against the Chief Justice, and you just add three to that, you get eight. And I, I express the hope that uh, the justices individually would uh, would evaluate the case uh, on the merits. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, uh, apparently, they used closely to their uh, earlier statements in, in Congress. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was, uh, you know, more or less, uh, um, you know, close to, to what, what you we predicted. have expected. Yes, yes. How would you describe this decision, though? Well, I don't know. I, I have yet to read the, the decision <laughs> of, the, <laughs> of the justices. Yeah. Yes, yes. All right, uh, Attorney uh, Fajardo, thank you so much thank uh, for you. your time. Attorney Abdel yes. Fajardo there, Integrated Bar of the Philippines. Let's go back to our correspondent at the Supreme Court, Anjo Alemario. Anjo. I think, yeah, we already got the confirmation as announced by Attorney uh, Theodore Tedesco of the Supreme Court. Uh, again, let me read to you the dispositive portion of the 8-6 ruling of the Supreme Court granting the co-warrant the case of Solicitor General Kalida against Chief Justice Terreno. Uh, and I read, I uh, were four. The petition for co-warrant is granted. Respondent Sereno is found disqualified from and is by a judge guilty of unlawfully holding and exercising the office of the Chief Justice. Accordingly, Sereno is ousted and mm -hmm. excluded therefrom. The position for CJ is declared vacant, and the Judicial and Bar Council is directed to commence the application and nomination process. The decision is immediately executory without need of further action from the court. And this is positive portion also states that Terreno is ordered to show cause within 10 days to explain why he should not be absent for violating the Code of Professional Con Responsibility and Code of Judicial Conduct for transgressing or violating the sub rule and for casting aspersions and ill motives to the members of the Supreme Court. So they already read that it takes voting, and there are actually uh, different kinds of voting per issue. You also have 9-5 voting for the question of whether or not the co-warranto is the proper remedy, and we understand that nine justices have expressed their opinion whether or not Sereno violated the Constitution for failure to file a talent. I ask uh, Pe, uh, what are these opinions of the of these nine judges, whether there was a violation for an filing, but uh, let's, just, let's, just, let's just wait for the opinions of the justices. We understand uh, the main text of the decision will be out this afternoon, as uh, announced by Te, uh, and included in that main decision are the separate and dissenting opinions of the justices. Pinky. No, Angel, the, the part where you, you, you read the dispositive portion, the decision is immediately executory without need of further action from the court. I guess if we were to try to understand that better, that means, the, you know, it, it is a decision now, it is executory now, and there needs to be no more further notices or decision from the Supreme Court. That's right, Pinky. Uh, wait, awaiting her motion for reconsideration, the decision is already immediately executory, so the court won't wait for her, for her appeal uh, before the, the, the decision is, is, uh, is uh, executory. And uh, let me just uh, re read to you, uh, we just got a statement from Solicitor General Jose Calida, an email from Solicitor General Jose Calida, and let me read to you that uh, the his statement, the Supreme Court ousting uh, Chief Justice uh, Sereno Augers well for the country as it preserves the stability and integrity of the judiciary. This decision is the epitome of its exercise of judicial independence. I would like to extend my appreciation to the magistrates of the Supreme Court 
for once again upholding primacy of the Constitution despite the raucous voices of those pretending the champion of the Constitution, the magistrates stayed true to their oath and faithfully adhered to the rule of law. Lastly, I implore the Filipino people to continue the fight against those intending to undermine the stability and integrity not only of the judiciary but also of government as a whole. Again, that's a statement of Solicitor General Jose Calida. Thank you. We got both um, the dispositive portion read to us by Anjo on the decision, of course, of the Supreme Court on the co warrant petition and also a reaction from Solicitor General Jose Calida. We will be bringing you more updates, more developments from uh, the Supreme Court in the Supreme Court and also around the, the Supreme Court, the protesters there, the anti-Sereno, the pro-Sereno. They have been there camping out. In fact, um, uh, certain roads around the Supreme Court have been closed to traffic because of the number of people there. We will bring you more developments on this when we air Balitaan at 12 noon, but we continue to try to get more information and more reactions from uh, the people on the ground and those who have stakes on this. We are also trying to get a hold of uh, the other spokespersons of uh, CJ Sereno. All right, so uh, Anjo, are you still there on the line? Yes, thank you. Okay, so Anjo, I guess uh, we will have to await, uh, according to the camp of Chief Justice Sereno, she will hold, or they rather, will hold a press conference. Um, any time, are you getting any information on this? Oh, yeah, that's right, Vicky. The information that we got is that she, she Serena herself, will be holding a press conference at 6 in the evening. Mm -hmm. So she will be facing members of the media on this uh, historic ruling of the Supreme Court, ousting her from her position, Vicky. All right. Uh, Anjo Alimari, we thank you for that live report, and we will get more updates from the rest of our correspondents. AC Nichols is there and Rex Remitio as well. We will be back at... Uh, 12 noon for Balitaan to give you more updates on this breaking news.